Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions. Today I am on the road again. I should put some music to that, right? Uh, anyway, today I am talking about being on call when you are working in an IT job. And there are really a lot of IT jobs out there that require you to be on call. They require you to be available to uh, you know staff, users, or just the business needs after hours. So for my case, I work for a hospital. My Monday through fr Friday is from 7.30 in the morning till 4 p.m. And we do a, uh, basically like a, a, um, a shifting schedule for on call and we do it from Wednesdays to Wednesdays and we have uh, right now four people who do the uh, the on call rotation so one week at a time from uh, uh, basically at 5 o'clock it would start so from 5 p.m. until 7 a.m. the next morning you are on call you know from that Wednesday to the next Wednesday and then over the weekend you know, from Friday at 5 p.m. until Monday at 7 a.m., you're on call. So all weekend long, all night long, you are on call. So if there's any business need for you, if there's end users having problems, specifically in the healthcare area, um, you know, if, there, if you are working, going to be working for a business environment that is 24 seven and you are on call, you would probably end up getting calls at night with people saying, I forgot my password. And that really is probably where I get the most phone calls. But anyway, the point, uh, you know, what I was kind of talking about really and why I'm making this video is just, there are um, a lot of jobs out there where they require you to be on call. And you know, they might have different rule stipulations to uh, how that on-call schedule works or uh, what rules, requirements, meet, you know, actually contacting somebody who is on call. Um, so there's there's lots of different things out there, you know, that, that would stipulate how the actual on-call for, for different companies would work. Um, but I just know for the hospital that I work at, that's, you know, that's pretty much what it is. If, if there's an issue at two o'clock in the morning, they are going to call us. And that's whether it's a password issue or, you know, the network is down, God forbid. Um, they call us or they can't print, which they call us about that sometimes too in the middle of the night. Those are the worst ones. I hate that. Um, but that that's, you know, just something, again, in IT, you know, you might have to take a job where you will be on call. Now, I don't know that I have specifically heard of anywhere that doesn't have any kind of stipend for being on call. I know that there are different businesses that give you different incentives or bonuses for being on call, uh, depending on, you know, where you're working and things like that. Um, for us, you know, I'm salary, so being on call that's it's more of an hourly type of thing. Well, they can't really pay me what my quote-unquote hourly rate would be to be on call because then I would just be making a ridiculous amount of money, which I would be completely okay with, right? So our on-call rate, and I found that this is fairly um, widely used. It's, it's kind of... Uh, an accurate number, or not, I wouldn't say accurate, I guess, but it's, it's kind of a widely used number as far as an hourly rate for being on call. I know that another hospital in our same area, uh, their techs and stuff that go on call, they get paid the same hourly rate that we do. Uh, that's $2 an hour. So a whopping $2 an hour to be on call. So, you know, that equals out to like just in the hourly rate for the week, it's like $244, $246 or something like that a week just to be on call. That's just extra pay. You get the extra $240 something dollars just to be on call, you know, and you get God knows how many phone calls. Sometimes you get no phone calls. And I don't, I don't know that's ever happened to me, but there's been times where I've only gotten one phone call. But my specific 
uh, business or the hospital, we have a different kind of stipend. You know, we get the $2 an hour, but we also, anytime we take a phone call, um, we get $25. So, and this has to be in a basically like a two hour window. So we'll use like uh, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, for instance. If I take a call at 10 a.m., I'll get $25. And then if I take a call at 12.05 p.m., I'll get another $25. But if I take that first phone call at 10 a.m., and then somebody calls me again at, you know, say 10.30 a.m., I still will only get paid for one phone call. So it's a two hour block um, from the, the time that the first uh, phone call initiates and that two hour block, you know, kind of refreshes. And that's kind of how that works for the hospital, you know, that I'm at. So it's kind of a nice stipend, I, you know, it, it does uh, add up sometimes for sure. And, you know, if we have to ever go into the hospital, which, yes, that does happen. So that is something, again, that you guys might and should be aware of. If you are on call, if you are going to be working somewhere where you have to be on call, there are circumstances where you have to go in. And I should have kind of stated that a little bit earlier in this video because 90 probably 5%, 98% even, of the phone calls that I take when I'm on call, I can fix them all remotely from home, from my computer. I can just remote back into uh, to work from my home computer and I'm able to fix a majority of those issues. A lot of them I can just remote in from my phone. Uh, with the remote desktop app, I can remote into a lot of the different applications that I need access to and I can you know reset passwords and all that kind of fun stuff. So. It's, it's really, it's, it's fairly easy most of the time, but you know, that, that 5% or 2% or whatever that, you, that I have to go in to fix an issue, which is mainly printers or a computer going down in like a patient room um, or like a registration area, mostly like emergency department or like on the floors where patients are. That's primarily where all of the phone calls come in that you actually have to go in when you're on call. That's all the after, after hour stuff, you know. So, um, again, just keep in mind, you might have to go in, you know. So, But we get $35 if we have to go in. And, again, that, that's the same two-hour block. Um, and, it, you know, I could take a phone call in that time. I, I would still get, the, I would just get $35, whether, you know, whether or not, um, you know, I, I get a phone call or not or whatever, it, I, I basically get the $35. Uh, I, it would take precedence over the $25 phone call that I would get. So um, it definitely adds up. It's a nice kind of stipend that the hospital offers. I know that the other hospital in our area, they the techs there that are on call only get $2 an hour. So they don't get any kind of stipend or anything. As I, I know they don't get any other type of monetary um like bonus or anything like that for being on call. I don't know if they get any other type of um, incentive or anything like that being on call. So uh, just be aware that you know that you might get extra pay. You might not get some extra extra pay, but that is out there. So there are lots of IT jobs that require you uh, to be on call, and it's relatively not that bad. A hospital. I think is probably one of the most crucial um, and most intense and, you know, uh, I guess, I can't really think of the exact word that I'm looking for, but um, needed in a way out of all of the on-call type of jobs that you would have because it's hospitals 24-7 all the time. Like the patients, that's patient care. You have to be available. You have to be ready. And it, it, you, they rely on you to fix an issue, you know, at 3 o'clock in the morning if there's a problem. You know, people's lives actually seriously depend on it in some ways. So um, that's, that's just one big one. Some other companies, it might not be as crucial. It might not be as big of a deal unless a server's down or something like that. So that is today's video on uh, being on call. And I uh, thought I'd just answer that because I did receive a question about that not too long ago. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, take it easy.